Good day mga great and learners. Welcome to our quarter 2 week 2 dito sa Great 10 Mathematics kasama pa rin ang yung Mathematics coaches. Ato nga po si Tutor of Hill mula sa SDO Bataan. I am Tutor King from SDO Tarlac Province. So mga great 10 math learners, make sure lang po na tumuto kayo dito para siguradong matututo kayo ngayong Mathalino Day Monday. So let's start our discussion for this afternoon. So ang topic nga natin mga great 10 learners ay tungkol sa great 10 mathematics kung saan pag-uusapan natin ngayong quarter 2 week 2 ay tungkol sa solving problems involving polynomial functions together with your tutor of Hill. Tutor Rowell and Tutor King. So, bago ang lahat, pasalamatan muna natin ang ating reference para sa module na ginamit para sa ating Great and Mathematics tutorial ngayong araw na to, ang DepEd Cordillera Administrative Region. And of course, sa mga Great and Learners, huwag pong kalimutan na i-like at i-share ang ating Facebook page, ang DepEd Itulay, para siguradong mas marami pa tayong mga Great and Learners na makakasama sa ating DepEd Online Tutorial. So, ano nga ba ang objective natin for this afternoon? For our objectives, let us solve problems involving polynomial functions. So, let's do the warm math exercise. Nung nakaraang linggo, pinag-aralan natin kung paano mag-graph ng polynomial functions at na-review na rin natin kung paano nga ba nalalaman kung ito ay polynomial function or not a polynomial function. But for now, for us to further understand how to solve problems involving polynomial functions, let's do this warm math exercise. Let us review question number one. Evaluate p of x is equal to 7x cubed plus 6x to the fourth power minus 8x to the sixth power plus 6x plus 11 at x is equal to zero. For us to evaluate a certain function, we just simply need to substitute the given value of x to all the x's on the given function. Is it letter A, 11? Letter B, 8? Letter C, 7? Or letter D, 6? I'm giving you 5 seconds to answer this question. The answer is... Letter A, 11. Nakuha ba ang tamang sagot? Magaling! Now let's have question number 2. What is f of 3 if the given function is x squared minus 3x cubed plus 2x to the 4th power plus 1? Is it letter A, 91? Letter B, 10? Letter C, 30? Or letter D, 3? What is your answer? Okay, if your answer is 91, you are correct. Very good. Now let's have our question number 3. If the function of x is equal to x to the 4th minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 2, then P of 2 is equal, is it letter A, 2, letter B, 8, letter C, 14, letter D, 20? You have 5 seconds to answer. The answer is letter B, 8. Nakuha nyo ba ang tamang sagot? Mahusay. Now let's have question number four. What is b of x plus s of x given that b of x is equal to 7x squared minus 5x plus 100 and, and s of x is equal to 20x squared plus 60x plus 200? Is it letter A? 27x squared plus 55x plus 300 or letter B, 27x squared minus 65x plus 200 or is it letter C, 17x squared plus 45x plus 300 or letter D, 17x squared minus 45x plus 300. You have 5 seconds to answer. 
The answer is letter A, 27x squared plus 55x plus 300. Did you get the correct answer? Very good. Now let's have the last question for our review. Write the polynomial function p of x whose zeros are 0, 4, and negative 6. Is it letter A? P of x is equal to 2x times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 6. Or letter B, P of x is equal to x times the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 6. Or letter C, P of x is equal to x squared times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 1. Or letter D, P of x is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 6. What is your answer? The answer is letter B. P of x is equal to x times the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 6. Did you get a perfect score? Very good mga grade 10 mathletes, no? Alam kong nakuha ninyong tama ang lahat ng mga sagot dahil naman naging review ito at pinag-aralan na natin sa ating grade 8 mathematics. But now, let us proceed to our discussion for this afternoon. Let's do the math talks. So for our topic, sabi nga natin kanina, pag-uusapan natin is how to solve problems involving the polynomial functions. So we need to recall that in a general form, the polynomial function is denoted by p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to the n power plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to the n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to the n minus 2 plus and so on up to a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. We're in a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2 up to a sub n are real numbers and a sub n should not be equal to 0 and n is a positive integer. So tandaan natin ha, bawal maging negative number ang value ng n. Because once we said n, we're talking about the number of terms. So syempre, lahat yan magsisimula. Kumbaga naturally, di ba, we count numbers from 1. So therefore, all values of n should be positive numbers. Now let us try to study each illustration and answer the questions that follow. We have two figures on our monitor. Figure 1, a square with side 4 units long. Figure 2, the square in figure 1 will be made into a box by folding it along the dotted lines. Now, let us try to answer the following questions. In the given figure 1 and figure 2, there are three questions. Number one, what is the perimeter of the square in figure one? Number two, what is the area of the square in figure one? And number three, what is the volume of the resulting box in figure two? Now let us try to answer one by one. Punta muna tayo sa sagot sa tanong na number one. What is the perimeter of the square? Given our figure number one, a square with side 4 units long. At remember, mga great and mathletes, paano nga ba kinukuha ang perimeter ng square? Tama! Pagsasama-samahin lamang kung ano ang bilang ng kanyang mga sides. At dahil ang square ay may 4 equal sides, at sa ating given ay merong 4 na measurement na ating side, we just simply add 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 or we just simply multiply 4 times 4 dahil meron tayong 4 sides sa square. So the solution, kailangan alam muna natin ang formula ng perimeter. So katulad ng paliwanag ko kanina, the perimeter of the square is equal to 4s. And that is the formula in getting the perimeter of a square. Next, substitute the given value of our side dun sa ating formula. In this particular given, the side is equal to 4. Therefore, we will have P of S, or the perimeter of the square, is equal to 4 times 4. Next, the answer will be 
16 units. Alam kong nakuha niyo ang sagot. Tama? Very good. Now let's have question number two. In our question number two, what is the area of the square using figure number one? First step ulit, alamin ang formula sa pagkuha ng area ng square. On this given, the area of the square is denoted by area of S or A, sub A of S is equal to S squared. Sinabstitute natin ang value ng side. That is 4. So we have area of the square is equal to 4 squared. Area of the square is equal to 4 times 4 because of 4 squared. Therefore, the area of the square, so I stand corrected, that should be A or area of the square, not P of S. And that will be equal to 16 units. Okay, very good. Now let's have question number three. What is the volume of the square? Step number one, identify muna ulit natin ang operation or formula to be used. On this given problem, we need to find the volume of the square. And the volume formula is V is equal to Bx, which is the base times the height. Or the length times width times height, basically. So in this given particular square, we have v is equal to the quantity 4 minus 2x raised to the second power. So bakit 4 minus 2x na lang ang ginamit? Kasi di ba, pag finold natin yung, yung box natin o yung ating unang figure, magkakaroon na siya ng height. That's why magkakaroon na ng volume. At yung nafold na yon ibabawas natin yon And that will become 2x. So that's 4 minus 2x. So we have square of, um, I mean, quantity 4 minus 2x squared times x. And then we expand our binomial term. The volume is equal to the quantity 16 minus 16x plus 4x squared times x. Then syempre, we multiply our x dun sa nasa labas. Ilalagay natin or multiply natin sa lahat ng mga terms sa loob ng group. You will have now 16x minus 16x squared plus 4x cubed. And then we just simply arrange the given dun sa general form. Siyempre, the highest exponent, tapat yun ang nauuna. So therefore, the volume of the square is equal to 4x cubed minus 16x squared plus 16x. And that will be the volume of the square. Okay, now, if you will notice sa ating first three problems using these two figures, Yung ating mga ginamit na formula like P of S is equal to 4S, A of S is equal to S squared, and V is equal to BX, those are examples of polynomial functions. At kung mapapansin ninyo, kahit sa simpleng problem lang na isolve na natin agad ang polynomial functions. Therefore, mga great and mathletes, all we need to do is just to simply follow the same rule or the same process kung paano tayo nagsusolve kanina para magawa natin yan sa ating mga activities pa maya-maya lamang. So, ano ba ang ating natutunan doon sa ating first discussion? We only just simply substitute, di ba? Yung given value doon sa lahat ng mga either x or y or kung ano man yung variable na meron sa, sa function and evaluate the given function for you to get the value or the final answer. So now, let us try to have another one. Okay, so example number one. A cube has a capacity of 125 cubic centimeter. What is the length of its edge? Solution. First, identify the formula to be used. On this particular given, the formula to be used is the volume of cube is equal to S cube. Then, substitute the given to our formula. Given ang volume, ang kailangan natin hanapin ay yung length ng bawat edge. On this particular given, 125 cubic centimeter is the volume, which is equal to S cubed. For us to eliminate or for us to get the value of S alone, we just simply what? 
get the cube root of each side of the equation. So we get cube root of 125 cubic centimeter is equal to the cube root of S cubed. Next, we will have the answer of 5 centimeters is equal to the side or the S. So therefore, S is equal to 5 centimeters and that is the length of its edge. Did you follow the process? Mathusai. Okay, so the final answer, the length of the edge of the cube is 5 centimeters. Example number 2. Find the polynomial function which represent the volume of a rectangular prism and with zeros 3, negative 3, and 1. For our solution, we need first to find the appropriate equation for the volume of the rectangular prism. And the volume for the rectangular prism is equal to length times width times height. And for us to get the zeros, we will have the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 1. Combining the first two given binomials, we will have the quantity x squared minus 9 times the quantity x minus 1. Getting the product of our given we will have the rectangular prism or the volume of the rectangular prism equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 9x plus 9. Therefore, the polynomial function that represents the volume of the rectangular prism is v of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 9x plus 9 cubic units. Very good. Now, let's have example number three. A demographer predicts that the population P of a town T years from now can be modeled by the function P of T is equal to 6T to the fourth power minus 5T cubed plus 200T plus 12,000. What will be the population of the town B two years from now? Ayan, medyo population naman ang mag naging problem natin. Example number three. So the solution, the given function that model the population of the town shall be evaluated at t is equal to 2. Meaning, ang una natin kukunin muna ay 2 years lang. Kasi 2 years from now. So sabi nga natin, di ba sa ating review and sa mga sample problems natin, for us to evaluate polynomial function, we just simply substitute the given value of the variable to all the variables on the given. So, for example, 2 ang variable or 2 ang value ng t sa ating given. Ang ating polynomial function ay p of t is equal to 6t raised to the fourth power minus 5t raised to the third power plus 200t plus 12,000. Substituting the given value of t, we will have now p of 2 is equal to 6 times 2 raised to the 4th power minus 5 times 2 raised to the 3rd power plus 200 times 2 plus 12,000. Evaluating the function and performing the indicated operation, we will have now 6 times 16 at nakuha yung 16 dahil dun sa 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the raise or 2 raised to the 4th power minus 5 times 8 at yung 8 nakuha dun sa 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 raised to the third power plus 200 times 2 plus 12,000. Next, we get the product of each given term. We have 96, 6 times 16 minus 5 times 8 is 40 plus 200 times 2 is 400 plus 12,000. The total answer is 12,456. So therefore, in two years, the town will be having a population of 12,456 people. Nakuha ba? Very good. Okay. Alam kung nakuha nyo na ang process, right? Now let's have the math practice kasama of course ang ating Tutor King. Tutor King? Hello everyone, 
Thank you, Tutor Abhil, for that wonderful discussion. Now, tapos na ang ating discussion. Let us now proceed sa ating math practice. Are you ready? So, problem number one. So, the area of a rotunda is 21.98 square feet. What is the length of its diameter? So, we have here hints. Hinahanap natin yung diameter. But, yung given lang ay yung area ng rotunda. So, a rotunda is a circular shape siya. Therefore, yung area of the circle is equal to pi r squared. So, hint natin yun. Then, 2r is equal to d. Yung twice down ng radius is equal to d, which is diameter. And then, pi is equal to 3.14. So, those are our hints. Now, solution. Given yung area daw ng rotunda is 21.98 square feet. And we all know the area of a circle is... Ano ba area ng circle? Yun. Area of the circle is equal to pi r squared. Then, alam na natin yung area ng circle which is 21.98 square feet is equal to the 3.14. Yung 3.14 na yun, that is our pi times r squared. And then, we will divide both sides by 3.14. So, 21.98 divided by 3.14 is equal to 3.14 divided by 3.14 times r squared. And we will have an answer 7 is equal to r squared. Tapos na ba tayo dyan? Hindi pa. Hinahanap natin kasi yung diameter. To get the value of r, kailangan natin square root yung both side. Kasi yung r squared is equal to 7. Yun, lang, yun yung value ng r squared. So, to get r, square root of 7 is equal to square root of r squared. And then R is approximately 2.64 units or 2.64 feet. Pero, hinahanap natin si diameter. And we all know that diameter is equal to 2R or twice the radius. So, ang gagawin natin, we will just substitute the value of R doon sa D is equal to 2R. So, D is equal to 2 times 2.64. And the value of D is equal to 5.28 or 5.28 feet. So, yun na yung value ng D or yun na yung diameter natin. Madali ba? Now, let us proceed to the problem number 2. Problem number 2. Ayan. Write the polynomial function P of X with the zeros 2 of multiplicity of 3 and negative 1. Meron na naman tayong hint. Write the zeros as factors. Ayan. So, given natin, zeros 2 of multiplicity of 3 and negative 1. Therefore, x is equal to 2, which is multiplicity of 3. Kapag sinabi natin multiplicity of 3, yung 2 na yun is naulit siya ng 3 times. Therefore, yung polynomial function na yan ay may zeros ng 2, pero tatlong beses na ulit yung 2. And then, we have another 0. x is equal to negative 1. And P of X is equal to X minus 2 quantity cube. Ayun na, na, uh, ayun na, tinakita nyo X minus 2 quantity cube. Multiplicity of 3, kaya cube siya. Times X plus 1. And then, ayun na. X minus 2 quantity cube. Then X plus 1. We will just, next step, we will just expand the X minus 2 quantity cube. We have x cubed minus 6x squared minus 4x minus 8 and then we will multiply that sa ating x plus 1. To get the final answer, p of x is equal to x raised to the fourth power minus 5x cubed minus 10x squared minus 12x minus 8. So yun na yung final answer natin. Now, another problem. Problem number 3. Annie went to the grocery and bought items which cost C of X is equal to 5X raised to the fourth power plus 2X cubed plus 4X plus 18 pesos. If X is equal to 4 pesos, how much did Annie pay? Hint, we will just evaluate the function. 
So, given natin, c of x is equal to 5x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x plus 18 pesos. And yung x daw natin is equal to 4 pesos. Ang gagawin natin dito, we will just substitute the value of x, which is 4 pesos, doon sa ating polynomial function. Na c of x is equal to 5x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x plus 18. And we will have c of 4 plus 5 times 4 raised to the fourth power plus 2 times 4 cubed plus 4 times 4 plus 18. And then, c of 4 is equal to 5 times 256. Nakuha natin yung 256 doon kasi 4 cubed. And 4 cubed is 256. Plus 2 times 64. Nakuha ulit natin yung 64 doon dahil yun ay 4 cubed. Plus 4 times 4 plus 18. Then, 5 times 256, that is 1,280. Plus 128 na nanggaling sa 2 times 64. Plus 16 na nanggaling sa 4 times 4 plus 18. And when we add them up, we will have C of 4 is equal to 1,442 pesos. Madali ba? Di ba? Napakadali. Now, to sum it up, let us call on one of our tutor, Tutor Roel. Thank you so much, Tutor King. Kumusta Matli? How was it? Alam kong nakuha niyo how to solve the given problems. For this time, let's sum it up. Okay? So, Matli, remember that there is no concrete shortcut in solving different word problems. Okay po? Thus, it is important that we analyze the problem properly or we understand the problem. Next, we will devise a plan on how to solve the problem by using example is a polynomial function. Then after, we will carry out the plan. How are we going to carry out the plan? We can do that one by substituting the given values of the variable to the polynomial function. Then once you're through solving the given problem, an important thing dapat gawin? Mathletes, you need to do the last step, which is Look back or check your answer. So, kaya ba gawin? I know you can. This time, we will have the quick check challenge. Mathletes, prepare your pen, paper, and let's do this one. Are you ready? Okay, number one. For number one, evaluate P of X is equal to 7X squared plus 6x to the 4th power, minus 8x to the 6th power, plus 6x plus 11, at x is equal to 0. A, 7. B, 6. C, 8. Or D, 11. So, Matlitz, what we will do is simply substitute the value of x, which is 0, to the given polynomial function. What do you think is the answer? Sige nga. For number one, the correct answer is letter D. For number two, if P of X is equal to X to the fourth power minus 4X squared plus 3X plus 2, then P of 2 is equal to blank. A, 2. B, 8, C, 14, or letter D, 20. What do you think? This time, the value of X is 2. So what is P of 2? The answer for number 2 is letter B. Now, let's proceed to number 3. Number 3 a grocer spent a total of a cubed plus 5a squared plus 2a plus 10 pesos in purchasing a disinfectant worth a squared plus 2 pesos per gallon. How many gallons of disinfectant was purchased by the grocer? What do you think? Is it A, A minus 2 gallons, 
B, A plus 2 gallons. C, A plus 5 gallons. Or letter D, A minus 5 gallons. What do you think, Matt, please? For this one, you will simply divide the given polynomials. And the answer is letter C. Now, how about number four? For number four, the area of a square garden is represented by x is equal to 36x squared minus 96x plus 64 square feet. How long is one side? Is it A, 6x minus 8 feet? Or B, 6x plus 8 feet? C, is it 3x minus 4 feet? Or letter D, 3x plus 4 feet? What do you think, Matt, please? For number 4, the answer is letter A. It's 6x minus 8 feet. Now, let's have the last quick check question. Number 5. Number 5, what is B of x plus S of x given that B of x is equal to 7x squared minus 5x plus 100? And S of x is equal to 20x squared plus 60x plus 200. So what do you think is the sum of the two functions? Is it A, 27x squared plus 55x plus 300? Or is it B, 27x squared minus 65x plus 200? How about letter C? 17x squared plus 45x plus 300 or letter D, 17x squared minus 45x plus 300. What do you think is the sum of the two functions? Mathletes, the answer is letter A, 27x squared plus 55x plus 300. Mathletes, how did you find the quick check challenge? I know that you got it right. If not, next time, I know that you can do better, okay? Now, let's do the math challenge of the week. The math challenge of the week is this one. The cost C in pesos of removing X percent of pollutants from swimming pool in rational resort is given by the function C of X is equal to 50x squared minus 100x plus 45,000. How much would it cost the resort to remove 50% of pollutants? So how are you going to answer this one? Remember to follow the steps on how to solve polynomial functions, okay? Don't forget to include hashtag challenge, hashtag tutorabheel, Hashtag tutor well and hashtag tutor king once you post your answers on your Facebook account. You may also post it on our official Facebook page. We have Deped Itulai and Deped at the Unit. So thank you so much. So this time let's call once again Tutor King and Tutor Abhil. Hello, Tutor King. Hello, Tutor Abhil. Yes, hello mga great and learners. Maraming maraming salamat muli sa ating pagsasama ngayong Masalino Day Monday dito lamang sa Debit Online Tutorial ang Itulay. And maraming maraming salamat Tutor King at Tutor Rowell na palagi nating nakakasama mga great and learners. Tama ba? So muli po ako ang inyong Tutor of Hill mula sa SDO Bataan. Huwag pong kalimutan na i-like at i-share ang ating mga Debit Facebook pages, ang Debit Etec Unit, Debit Philippines at Debit TV. At ganoon din po mag-subscribe sa ating official YouTube channel, ang Debit TV Official. Ayan. Ako si Tutor King from SDO Tarlac Province. And once again, I'm Tutor Ruel, your math coach in Math 10 from SDO Camarina Sur. So muli, magkita-kita tayo next week dito lang sa Deped Online Tutorial, ito lang. Paalam! <music>